What is going on YouTube? It is Jeremy back with another video, and today we are going to be doing our Tuscan breakdown. So I have it on hard point for right now. I'll show you guys spots for S and D and control um, and things like that. So for starters, this is the defensive spawn for control, search and destroy, and then this is one of the spawns for hard point back here. So back here is kind of just like back back there spawn. Over here, this tank right here, great spot to kind of watch headies and just go around here. You can look through church door. You can move a little bit to the side, watch this ramp. You can kind of, if you get on top of here, if you maybe if you're like in a 1v1, you can see L from down here. Um, a couple of, I put on demolition and like fast supply boxes so that I could throw a lot of nades because I have a lot of good nade spots. So like, there's nades you can hit from here to, that'll hit probably L. Yeah, so that'll hit L, like that's a nade you can hit from here. To L. There's a lot of nades you can hit here from back. Spawn tank. Some of these tanks are kind of fidgety to jump on, so make sure you're just being careful of that. Or you can hit one on the point of P2 right here. I just realized that was going to blow up in my face right now. It's like that one. That hits like that corner right there. So you can hit nades from back here. But yeah, this is just like back spawn tank, back there tank. Um, anyway, back here there's like a corner right here you can play. These things don't really. Some of these things aren't really going to have callouts. Like this does not have really a callout. Like just say back tank corner or something like that um going back here we call my team calls this flowers out of the map um i don't really remember how to do this jump um might be being stupid right now but i think it goes something come on give it no dude i can't do the jump now i'm being stupid anyway there's something where you can get on these plants right here and you can kind of see p1 more well, i can't do it because i suck so this is like back flowers I call this just normal flowers. This is a nice heady right here. If you're gonna watch P1 field, we'll get into that in a little bit. We're gonna kind of slowly creep up the map, right? We're gonna go. We're gonna probably go from the right all the way around, and then all the way back, and then middle when we get back. We're gonna go all that and then do the middle. Okay. So this will lead to P1, which you guys saw that it popped up earlier, uh, right here. This is a good heady. You can just crouch walk this. You have the flowers in your way too. Um, this is a really nice heady to watch P1. Like, or perhaps if in control. If you know that they're spawning P1, then they and they wrap all the way back here to try and get to B. Then you can hold this. Uh, th these are nice corners. I call this like back stone, back here. So you can play this corner. Maybe watch, maybe watch barn. If you want to play this corner, you can watch here. Anyway, pushing up side door for church. Um, and then we'll get into church. We'll just do church now. Uh, so this is back church. Obviously back here, there's two kind of ways you can get in. Nice little heady here that you can watch the front door of the church here. Not really a heady over here. You can kind of play behind the door maybe if you want. And then that'll be top church, which we'll get into in a second. This is kind of staircase, church staircase. You can, I don't think you can jump on top of this. Yeah, I don't think you can. At least I don't remember you being able, being able to jump on. Yeah, you can. So then this is kind of table. I just call or stay or, uh table what am i saying uh this is just bench so like the church bench right here so like if you want to hold this you can hold the front you can hold the top from here you can even play like kind of shoulder this side right here uh, or even shoulder the other side and watch bottom right here this is also p4 if you didn't know just spawn on it um then this is called Candles of Church right here. And you can watch side door here. It's a really common angle people use. You can help watch P1 if you need to. Watch the back if you want to as well. Or you can watch front. I mean, if people run through front and they don't expect you to be here, that's some free kills. So that's all of church. All At least all of bottom church. Then you go up here. This is top church right here. Then this kind of area it becomes broken. This is ladder right here for obvious reasons. Now this is top broken. And we'll get into these little rooms in a little bit. We won't go there yet. We're going to wrap to P1. Um... But yeah, this is top broken here, um, and then you can watch all of mid here. Top broken is a good spot, or you can go like, especially if you want to watch fire here, playing like this corner. Especially if you even want to back up and play a little bit farther, so you can just shoulder it. And especially if you crouch, it's harder to hit you. Um, and yeah, here you can watch top fire, watch it from there. And then this on this corner, you can watch you as well, which you can kind of see over here. Kind of see over here, and then you can see it a lot better from right here. You can throw some stuns and nades. Hold on, I put this on. Throw this, bounce this like off the wall, hit you. You can also and you can see anywhere, and you can watch the cross maybe to P5 or things like that. So top church, if you're an AR, is a really useful spot to be in on Tuscan. Okay, so 
one of the better spots. This is another corner you can sit in here. Another one right here is a really common one, especially by me. I use this one a lot for like subs, especially on control when I know they're coming P1. Like if we have P5 pushed out and we're going to watch P1 push, I'll hold this corner. And then maybe if I get a couple kills there, I'll move to like somewhere over here behind this kind of ruins. I call this ruins right here. And then back here is stone. I know the, the, the top of the screen says ruins is all of this, but I call this uh, this ruins. And then that's back stone right there. And then here, again, this is P1, which we'll get to in a second. So, yeah. And this is going to be Pillar. So, this is going to be Pillar right here. Obviously, because it's a giant pillar in the way. This is a really good heady. You can kind of see their god heady. And then you can see outer here. If you move to the other side of the pillar, you can watch RU here. And then we'll get into that call out in kind of a second. So, then pushing up on a time, you have a god heady on each side of the map, which has two levels. Well, technically three. One, two, three. So... The first level is kind of the worst one to be at, I would say. I mean, you can still have a nice heady here. Actually, this is probably the second worst, I would say. This is kind of nice here. You can see outer, especially if you're watching outer, you can play closer to the corner. If you're watching, like, their trees, you got to kind of play more exposed. This is what I would say is the best heady because you can see almost everything. You can play outer here, especially if you back up and you can bunny hop this. Or you can watch their tree and it's way harder to hit you than it would be from right here, obviously being eye level. Whoa. And then you can go up here if you're watching your flank, right? I would not recommend doing this um, unless a teammate has your outer right here, obviously. And I would not recommend watching outer from here because you're exposed and they can shoulder that thing. You can't shoulder anything. You just run into the wall here. So here is kind of where you want to play if you're going to play this, right? The stun there is a lot of times what I do. I never, never really use... Um, Nades. I mean, maybe if you're, you're lost in life, you could drop a detonate there. Yeah, that's it. And then again, same thing on the other side here. Watch their t watch their pillar. Again, you can go top here and watch your flank. Maybe same thing. Nade there. Or if you think a spawn slip, you can obviously watch your back. Maybe that would be the best thing to watch right here. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this is outer over here. Outer P1. You can you can shoulder these really hard, like shoulder crack aim, kind of do whatever you want. If you're the last alive, you can maybe play here, lay down behind it. You can go on each side. If, you're, if you do have people on the other side of the outer, you can watch this. And then just hold like your U or maybe your flank. Because no one can see you. You can't see you from from um, from you unless you play like close. Like if you play right here, obviously you're in a bad spot, right? They can see you from here. They can see you from their U. You could, they can probably see you a little bit even from, from their side. So you want to play more farther back right here behind the wall. If they're going to watch you. And then again, shouldering here. You can also play this heady. You can kind of snake it a little bit. This is kind of just an outer fence thing. I've noticed a lot of the times you can run, jump, and it's kind of a fast way to, to move along the map if you feel like doing that. A couple nade spots from P1 we can go over here really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and put this down for my first nade and then continue to go. So if you know a guy's top church and maybe your guy who goes mid L right here, which we'll get into in a second, dies and there's someone top church who's just going to hold your mid and not really going to let you pass their mid, this nade is a pretty good one. I think I hit it. I don't. I did not hit it. Let's try it again. Um, I'm gonna place that way better next time. Okay, and also in pros, you're not gonna have demolition on. I think I hit it way high again. Yeah, I keep hitting it too high. So play it a little bit lower. Maybe yeah, go right here. That one hit bottom church, so you can hit that one if you feel like. But don't do what I'm doing. But you can't hit the nade from bottom tur top church, I promise. It's because I'm probably on camera now, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. But this right here is you. So if, you're pl if your team is spawning on this side, you say this is our you right here. And then this side would be their you. And vice versa. So if I'm spawning, we're spawning P uh, P2 side, this would be our you. And that will be their you. U leads to mid, which we can go over now. So this is all of mid. A couple angles that I like to watch here in mid is right here is a perfect one. If you know they're spawning church, this is a perfect. They'll run right past you. You'll hold this. You can also see your U flank right here. Like let's say someone goes, if they're spawning church side, right? And then somebody's running their U to our U right here. Then easy shot, shoot them in the back right here or get them as they're crossing. Again, if there's someone top broken, you can maybe help that guy here. Bunny hop it away. Do little things like that. This is a nice jump to top broken. You can get up to top broken from there if you didn't know about that. Uh, this is kind of all around mid. This is mid truck right here. So a couple of things you can do on here is you can kind of snake this a little bit. Really good if, you, if you're if you a master at doing that. Same thing with broken. You, this angle isn't really as good because your, your whole chest is, and, and head is still pretty much not as good of a head glitch as it would be to like snake this to like the top right here. 
just to snake the hood. But that's one side. Then this is the other side. If you, your spawning team is spawning church side, you know they're coming L. A good way to hold mid right here with the sub especially is to just kind of hold this little box thing here. You can you can get on, hold this, and then just watch over, kind of snake it a little bit here. Crouch there and just watch that. You can also help top fire right there. Uh, you can jump on these things. You can play in this corner as well. You can watch P5 from right here. That's P5, which we'll get into in a little bit. As you can see, there's a little hard point above it right about now. Sorry, I just had a fucking malfunction. That'll be cut out of the video, so good for you, live viewer. So you can hold B5 from right here. Um, you can watch. Again, you can play this corner as well if, if you know they're going to run L. Or you can play this corner and kind of watch it early. Uh, we'll push through there. So this is called L right here because it's a giant L right here. That's I just drew a it's really shaky L. That's more of a straight one. Uh, L. This fountain back here is P3, which we'll get into in a second. So... This is not very a great spot, right? We'll get to that heading in a second, but this heading is gonna be, you're gonna be dominated. If you're gonna push P3 here, shoulder this. We'll go over these in a little bit. I'm gonna go over maps and callouts and things like that, um, and then I'm gonna go over strategies. Again, nade spots are gonna be huge. Uh, again, if you're here like that, how did that just hit? Is it because I stick drifted? Anyway, yeah, you can hit like top fire from there. I keep stick drifting right at the end of my nade. Yeah. That's probably why I keep missing him. Oh, stick drift. There we go. That's how it was supposed to look. But I keep getting stick drift right as I throw my nades. But yeah, this is tree right here. So again, we're coming back into P1. You can Same thing as the pillar. The literally exact same. Hold this. You can try and hold kill god heady if you want. It's going to be a difficult gunfight, especially with the sub. You can look there, pillar. You can help outer. You can also snake right here. Again, you can watch the RU. And then this, you don't really have this flank. I mean, you have it from bottom church, but somebody should be your top church, so it should be kind of difficult to get behind you. Um, but mid L flank right here is a good thing to watch from right here. And then same thing as the other side, you have one of these to watch. If someone's trying to push through maybe to P3, you have this corner. You have this little like hedges corner right here. Back here that you can watch. And then this over here is called Vines. So Vines is right here. It's just this little corner right here. Again, this is P3, as now we can see. This is a nice heady if you want to watch. Uh, front, but yeah, this is Vine, so you can, if you want to, if you're playing Vines, and I normally recommend subs, if your team has P3 control, and you can get the time, and you have three or four dead, you can push out Vines here, you can kind of rotate this head, you can help mid L, you can go here, you can push and sit in this corner, you can sit in that corner right there, or this one that I'm sitting in right now, all up to you. This is Fountain, or P3, my team just calls it P3, you can call it Fountain if you're not playing Hardpoint on this map, but we, I just call it P3 all the time. So, you can get on top of this. I do not recommend that, obviously. But yeah, some things to play on hill here. You can kind of watch fire from here. You can help maybe on the thing. There we go. You can kind you can kind of crouch on like the little step here, and then that's kind of a helpful place. You can watch L. You can watch whatever you want from here. Um, but yeah, this is P3. We'll get into fire in a second. Back here is one of the most overpowered headies in the competitive scene this year. So this is just back heady or back P3 heady or whatever you want to call it. God heady is called by some. Um, because it is really hard to kill people off of this. Look, I'm not even I'm not even crouching or doing anything and I have full motion on my gun. And it's really hard to hit me. You can play this side. This side is going, especially if you're watching fire. Then you can kind of peek this one. Um, if you're watching roof, you know, you can play back on this heady, or you can crouch behind the little smaller ones. You know, the post is good if you want to stand up, but if you want to just crouch behind this, and then also behind this barrel, if you want to have more kind of things in your way, make it diff more difficult for your opponent to see you. Um, another corner is like back here, just in this back corner is kind of a weird one. You can watch that one. If you're last alive in SND, maybe you don't want to die, you can sit in this corner right here. This is called wine. Uh, my team calls it useless, but... Uh, if I know to pro call outs is wine for this. So wine is to kind of, you can use this to kind of push this heady, kind of kill this guy here. Um, you can sit in this corner if you have control of of that heady and, you, and then you know they're spawning roof and you want to help this guy here. Again, corners, corners are always good in competitive Call of Duty. I know it sounds kind of lame, but corners are very helpful for you. My dog is barking. We'll find out. But this is another back truck here. Use this to your advantage. This is kind of a really overlooked spot. Um, especially like trying to break 
especially it is so overlooked right because if you're spawning we'll get in here this is roof that i call it bottom roof uh this is kind of garden back here this little thing and then this is roof this is roof right here so if you're spawning roof or bottom or like back right roof again there's little things up here you can go you can head e jesus that lag was insane you can kind of jump heady this thing right here I'm lagging. Wait, I'm watching the back of my stream. That looks so weird. That wow, looks so cracked. Um, breaking here, using this to your advantage, playing this corner is really good. Here, kind of playing this, helping time. If there's a guy vines like I was just showing you, you can kill him here. Kill the guy on time, help pinch fire, help pinch L. And then use this. Make sure you're using this to your advantage because you have this heady as well, but also keep your back to this truck right here. So you don't die getting shot in the back, especially if there's a guy playing back here. If you know there's a guy playing this back heady, you can, if, you, if you're if you good at movement and things, you can finesse this guy, right? So if I go play this corner, play this corner, he can't really kill me. I can kill his teammates as long as my back is to right here, right? To play around this, use this to my advantage if I want to kill this guy. Maybe even hop over it, look at here, kill him here. I have the high ground on him now, like Obi-Wan. And then maybe even go here. You know, they use this truck to your advantage. It's a very underrated thing to use in this game, I promise you. It can really work to your advantage, just either whether you're just piggy, piggybacking off of it, like not trying to peek from the back of it, or if you're using it to break, using it as cover, shouldering it. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can use this truck that is very helpful. Uh, this is fire right here, so this is fire stairs, um, and then this is top fire right here. It's called fire because there's a bunch of fire right here. You can open these doors. Whoa, I just lagged. Uh, top church. Right here, you can see this. You can help L. You can look U from right here. The bomb, a bomb, is right here. Oh, I just realized I need to put this down. That's there. So, flat. What the? F what the? F what the hell? Why did my nade just go? Wait, what? My nade just like went back and forth. What? Oh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna put that in slow motion. What was that? Uh, these walls break. This one's not really as helpful as this one, uh, because this one, and you're here, will help you be able to jump in here pretty easily, right? There's this corner. Play on this desk to help watch. Uh, this corner is really helpful. You can watch here with your rooftops, which we'll get into in a second. Um, and this, yeah, this this kind of destructible. You don't really need to break it or kind of make sure it's broken for playing the map. This is really just used if you want to jump out, go L, maybe pinch a guy on P3 if he's here, or run away if you're getting chased in SD. But this is the fastest way to get up to top five. But yeah, opening and closing these doors becomes a pain in the ass. So, you want to break this. Also, helps you, like right here. They can't even shoot me right here. Look, peek up here. You can see nade spots for here. Got it. Damn it. Put this down. Can nade over. Nade the guy pillar. Can nade. Oh, hold on. We'll get, we gotta show you guys this one. So, it. You can hit a nade. I just. I just picked up the box. Dude, this thing is annoying me. Like, come on, game. It's not registering my jumps because I have the worst internet ever. So, from mid L, you can hit a nade onto time P2 right here. All the way back P2. That'll hit. So that's another good nade spot right there. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh my god, it worked. Um, you can nade it from, from obviously from up here. Like if you want to go right here. I don't think I hit it right there. Yeah, I didn't. Also, it's because suns take a while. Or suns don't take a while to explode. If you want to hit, there's there's a guy like bottom ladder or ramp. If you spawn out, that'll hit ramp right there. Uh, yeah, Top Fire has a lot of really good nade spots. So, uh, again, Top Church. There, you can hit same thing with bottom. Um, and then from here, you can hit that same nade. And then I believe... I haven't hit this nade in a long... Hello? I haven't hit this nade in a long time. But... You can... Yeah, you can. So you can hit... The P5 wall... I, don't th I think that hit. I don't know. Let's try it again. But bottom fire right here. Let's say you're spawning. You're spawning fire side of the map. 
They have control. They have green side. They're gonna push. You wanna throw a nade? Throw a jumping nade. Or you can hit it like that. But I try to normally bounce it off the wall. But that'll work as well. So, back in the mid here. This is now P5. So this is well right here, obviously, because there's a well here. Some corners you can play here. Corner right here. Corner under these stairs. Uh, watch here. Headies you can play. Play this well if you're watching bottom P5. Because this up here is going to be P5. So the top P5 will show you. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you can play this right here. Maybe shoot through it. And then you kind of have that. Open it. You can peek it. Like that. Obviously, but this corner is a good one. Um, playing behind this door is a really good one. Close it and then... Yeah, whatever. But yeah, this thing is good. Playing even maybe under here, laying down. I've, I haven't really used this one a lot, but this is a good one as well. I'm maybe watching here. Um, so this is just the whole building is P5. Just P5 stairs right here, bottom P5, and this is top P5. So, this. We just came from over here, right? That's roof. Now, this is kind of the roof P5 side. You get on here. Stand on this thing. You can jump up back to here. So this is like an S and D. You want to watch here. You want to and then get down. Oh, I missed. How did I? How did I miss that? Oh, whatever. But I missed. But you can jump back up to there. Um, lots of different spots here, guys. I will show you. I meant to break it, not to like. This wall will get destroyed eventually. I wish it would just destroy itself now. Actually. This is how it's probably going to get destroyed in, in an actual game anyway. Um, I didn't even destroy it. This fucking thing is unbreakable. Once you break this open in a Tuscan. There we go. <laughs> Got it though. So, when you're breaking from mid or anywhere, really, that is a great spot to hit on your nade breaks. So, again, go top fire here. If I want to do the, hit that jump nade, right? So, I'll click up a nade here. And then this. Yeah, I missed. But, stuns in here work good. Another thing. Did I break this? I didn't even know this could be broken. I have not played enough of this map, I guess. But, you can jump on top of these things. This will help. I don't think I can do it because I, I broke it, guys. I broke it. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, normally, there's a thing that goes right here where I'm aiming. So, you can hop on top of it. And you can make sweet jumps. So, you can jump here normally because you'll be a little bit elevated. Um, you can go... I don't need to get on this plant, but you can go here here I think can you you can't jump from P5 I don't think you can't jump from P5 up to there because now I broke the thing but this is P5 this is where you want to be yeah see that nade did hit right here that was perfect this is called pocket it's the only real call out for P5 it's just all P5 on the table or and then this is pocket right here so if you're spawning green side you kind of want to hold this shoulder this you can have these and these checks, and then if you just need to stay alive with your teammates, if you're the only one alive, you don't want to leave the hill. Maybe it's a close game. Maybe you're down like 248, you know, something you where you can't get off the hill. Playing this pocket will be good. Laying down here is good. You can just hit fire. Then this thing breaks open. God, destructible walls are awesome. That door. Um, let me see. A quick way to get to pocket is if you. Sp Attack sprint. I just got on the ledge and didn't get the mantle to jump in there. But you guys can jump from here and, and immediately start shooting the kit pocket or whatever you want to do. Um, also, if this window is broken, you can jump out of it to here as well. So it works vice versa. And again, if you want to play back here, you can see the door, which is a great spot. So if you guys are spawning fire, if you have bottom control and you guys have two guys in the hill, and you can get in here. You can shoot the guy in front door, and then you can make worry about the kid's pocket, and that's all good. So yeah, this is where the hill is, and then sitting here is obviously a great spot. I broke this to kind of ruin my demonstration of what to do on this hill. Um, but anyway, almost done, guys. Now, we have a couple more spots to go over left. A couple more spots to go over left. That made a lot of sense. So, 
this. You cannot get on top of this. You can get on top of this bear right here. So, a common push. I'll show you guys really quick. No. This is where the B bomb is. I showed you guys the A bomb. Is, can I jump? Is right there. And then the B bomb is right where I just shot my gun. So, they're pushing through the B bomb on offense. That side's off. Remember, this side's defense. I can hold right here. I can hold right here. I broke this wall. I shouldn't have broke it because I just ruined So, I guess I'll do it without demonstration. But one thing you can do, if you're pushing P5 on offense, and on control, on hard point, I mean, you don't really push this on hard point, but if you are, or especially S and D, when this broken wall is up, this, there'll be a little piece of wood here where you can see through, and you kind of just crouch and walk up to it, and you can see, and you'll get also get a name tag if someone's sitting in this corner. So this corner is good, but it's a little bit dangerous because they can see you, but this corner, a lot better. Here, these green barrels right here, you can watch here, you can watch the front door, you can kind of see outer. I mean, and then if you get, if, you, if there are any more left than that, you can just, you know, funny, I, my money have didn't work, but you get the point. Um, so yeah, that's green barrels right here. That's a nice little spot to sit on, especially if you're watching the push through from Platt. Like if you have like a couple, if you have three dead and you know they're going to push up, especially the guy from Platt, sit here, kill the guy off Platt. So this is green right here. So obviously this is broken. This is green right here, right? So this is green. You can break this open. You can see through it, but you can also break it open and then help watch this door. And then this right here is radio. So radio can help. This is P2 right here. Perfect timing. So you can watch this. This is green stairs. This is a nice corner. People like to sit in a lot. I don't really know. Like, it's not that great of a corner, but people can sit in it. And they do a lot of the time. You can help just, like, crouch on that heady right here. These are the stairs. And then these are this right here. And we're going to wrap all the way around to get to that hill. So, now this is plat right here. So, this is the platform anywhere basically to here. From right here, couple spots. So, here helps watch the push through. Again, if you don't want to play close P5, if you want to play here maybe, if you want to play back here, you can also, if I don't mess it up, which I keep, I'm gonna keep doing this now because I'm on camera, of course can go here there we go and watch this like that you can also kind of see radio from here um this is plat stairs right here this is also p2l so i know there's an l there right this is another l call out right here um because it's again a little l this again is the hill or a pillar or a column yeah sorry column but everyone just calls this p2 you can jump on these boxes. This is a common corner people play. You can watch your ramp right here. We'll go over that call on this. You can play under here. So in hard point, the hard point is from this line to this is these bricks. Oh wait, no. It's this. Okay. So it's that brick outline. Is the hard point, right? In control, it extends all the way to out here, the stairs, right here, and everything. So that use that to your advantage. A control point. It's really good to use. If somebody jumps over your head green, you can kill them. Someone should be watching over your green, but just in case they're not, you can watch over this here, which helps watch ramp. So help watch the back, which can also help watch L right here. So stay to play green stairs. I don't remember how to do this spot right here. Oh, I that was easy. So you can jump on this thing. You're literally standing on nothing. This game is awful, but it's very unexpected, right? So if people are sliding in from ramp here. They do not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna pre fire pre aim there, right? So you can shoot them off of right here you can play on the common head you should just hold this or you can hold this or you can hold this or you can hold this so use all these headies right here to advantage guys remember we're playing call of duty headies and corners it's it's just how call of duty works man you gotta use them to your advantage so and then playing this back headies some back headies here so the back l is over here you can jump up on this thing and watch your spawn that was the tank that we went to originally you can camp behind here Play behind here. This is a nice blue. This is a nice blue van right here. You can play. You can shoulder this to help L. You can show me this and how you help green. You can do this. You can look through the windows here and kind of jump peek that. Um, this is like back ramp over here. This is back stairs. Stairs right here. This is a fantastic heady to help watch your spawn pinch, especially on control and P2. You can watch this right here. This is also a good corner if you don't really if you know there's gonna be multiple. Hold this. Wait for them all to run by you. Shoot them in the back. Um, and then a spot, if you know that someone's sitting right on my spot that I just was right here, a good spot here, 
is to, if I could get it to work, jump on this thing, heady this, get him right back, right? Kill him off of it there. That's another very nice spot. This right here is a nice corner, especially, again, if I pass you, hold this. This is called pillars right here. All of this, again, this is another nice one. You can help watch bottom church. You can watch the flank here, play here. You can play behind here, maybe shoulder this a little bit. We have arrived at our last call out of the of the of the map, ladies and gentlemen. This is ramp right here, right? Kind of anything right here. If you push and you kind of get in a weak spot and you can't die, and you can also watch green from here. You can see plat, which is hard gunfights, especially you know I have a sub in my hands, so it's kind of really difficult to see up here. Um, but yeah, this is if you're gonna watch in the side door. It's like it's ramp door because that side door right here, right? That side door. This is ramp door. So if they're pushing through ramp, especially if they have P1 spawns or if they have maybe mid spawns, they can push through ramp here. Good spots are right here to watch this. You can play obviously the opposite side, bottom ladder right here. Play this. You can play maybe this or something. Play an off angle kind of shoulder this kind of. And then again, top broken works as well. So guys, that is kind of the end of the call outs section of the video. I'm going to go ahead and grab some sub angles that I want you guys to kind of learn or what I think is the kind of key spots for a sub player and I'll do AR and then I'll do sniping kind of spots. So this right here if you're holding mid is a great spot if you're a sub because this is not very long range. Obviously you can get gunned off here if you're not careful. Again crouching over and over again. You're not playing in the CDL snake this shit. You're playing rank play. Obviously if I was playing in the CDL I'm probably not doing this. but. That's there. And then a lot of the, for the sub spots, I just want you guys to use a lot of the corners that I showed you, right? So it's playing a sub on this map, especially in Vanguard, man. If you want to have really good games, you want to go super duper positive and just, you know, help out your SR or win team your team games and get a lot of kills. The corners in Vanguard are perfect, right? Because people run right past you, people die in two bullets in this game. Everybody knows that. So holding something like this or holding this, which is a great angle right here, this bottom fire heady. Is beautiful. Um, you can also play this side if you want. It's a little bit more exposed, right? You don't have the cover right here. You can kind of be seen more, especially from bottom. You can be seen from bottom. You can't be seen from church. And then here, you can also watch well from right here. Uh, a rush route I like to hit when I like to hit mid, guys. I'll show you guys my route. Actually, I'll do that in a second after I get it done with spots. Hill spots right here. P4. I want you to be holding this. This is like a great spot to have. Or you can be playing behind this, watching front. Or my last one, candles. I really like doing that. Again, for this ramp kind of control, a lot of these corners, right? These corners are good. Right here, right here. Shouldering around this thing is good. I like it. Even as a sub, you don't have to have an AR. Because, right, th these gunfights are going to be happening right here. If they go back tank, you might be in a little bit of trouble. If they're on this tank heady right here trying to kill you, that's going to be a bad gunfight for you. You should probably move, call help from somebody else. Hard point located. But yeah. Corner right here. Again, Hard I just went over these. Um, playing on the hill here, P2. I want you guys to be, again, using these headies right here. Using this to your advantage. Using this. These are lots of good spots here. For a sub to use. Peaking ramp. This is going to be more of an air. So we'll leave that to it. But green barrels to watch green here is a nice spot. Watch it be fire perfect. These corners, like I just showed you, are perfect as well. Going mid, again, not really a sub angle, but you can see it from there. Uh, top fire, again, I want you guys to play these corners here and here, like that. You can also, yeah, like I just did, you can kind of see, you can kind of stretch this out right here. So that works out perfect once again. So back here, trying to break P3. Push this right here. Hard point confirmed. This is another good heady. Again, playing vines, rotating your corners here. I would not really recommend going to these headies with the subs because, like, that is a far gunfight. This game has bloom. Like, it's going to be hard to win these gunnies, especially across here. Like, deep. Playing deep right here. It's going to be as well. I recommend these. These are way better. Way easier to see. You can kind of just level your gun with the, with the top of the pillar. Level it. Holding you is a really good spot. You can play these corners as well. They can't see you from top church. So that's fine as well. I mean, no racking spots. We kind of went through all of them. So let's go jump off the map and then do ARs really quick. We'll 
sniper ang and that'll be it for the map breakdown guys so i think i'll just record this one for the day because this kind of took longer than i expected which i actually like uh it's kind of a more shy away esque map breakdown if you guys know shy away what the fuck if you guys know shy away from halo that truck turned my game lag so hard it's kind of going one of worse so again right here look this back heady right here beautiful heady to play especially p3 can literally watch anything back here again this side as well works perfect you can play vines just the same but yes this gunfight an ar is a lot easier than it would be with a sub outer is in their position kind of like if you're just because it's a little bit more un especially if you have hill control right so if you win the first set of gunfights on p1 having an ar is perfect because they can kind of stretch deep and watch like this church side or like vice versa watch the vine side of the map right there they can go pillar watch this um i'm gonna stress again this p1 heady isn't i mean it's fine for a sub because you're not really gonna get very rarely are you gonna get chow flowers these flowers will probably be destroyed in your game are you gonna get a child from here and that person's gonna see you um so it's fine for a sub to be here but i would like an ar to be here just inside personal preference um this is a good spot again top church what, what i said earlier one of the better spots i'm not gonna go all the way to top fire but same thing top fire fantastic place to go um going to top again i don't know why i just time to go back if you guys are are cap P2 hill control and they're spawning the back still, you can hold this in green, help watch the back, maybe help watch ramp here. Green stairs, do not recommend that because look at how open you are compared from here to here. Right? So going plat now plat is very, very, I don't know what the word is, maybe versatile, because you can go here, you can go here. This is a great spot. Watching this is a great spot. Crouch on that thing. Again, I showed you guys this one earlier. This is a great spot. Um, even this works as well to watch that. And then, obviously, back here is perfect. This heady, especially if you're going to chow green, is really good. This one as well. Um, this again, I don't really recommend actually going back here with this with an AR because it's gonna be hard to kind of go back and forth here. But first spot we went over in this map, back tank is a premium is like one of the better AR spots. Come on, let me just there we go. Uh, to watch bottom church, watch flowers pinch, go here, all the things like that. Will it let me jump on the freaking flower pot? Holy yes, no, yeah, no. Let it work. Let it work. Yes. Okay. This is the spot I was trying to show you guys earlier. This. See outer from here. You can see that's from here. Go right here again. Watch this little divot. Uh, I'm trying to think what other spots for an AR would be good to watch. I already told you guys I'm not going to go up there, but top fire. Uh, watching here. Lost the hard point. Again, that nade is going to be a that nade is either two people or pushing them all in the pocket. Right. Bottom with an AR is very common because you know you're going to run two ARs on Tuscan. Uh, I actually will go over that as well. The meta for Tuscan is going to be two ARs and two subs, just so that you know. So, bottom church here is kind of a better spot for an a for an AR to use, especially if you're going to use the stair cover. And I would honestly shoulder this more than I would just peek it like that. I would kind of just like. Whoa. Kind of maybe even like wide peak a little bit, and then you having your subs up here would be even better. Again, this is kind of this is a great spot. I guess I will go up here since I'm already up here. But top fire, again, you can look through here. And then these, you notice how these things are open. You can kind of maybe see, kind of not really, but bottom church, top church, all that stuff. So I will go jump off the map, and we will do one last snipe. We'll just kind of do sniping lanes. For this map so we'll go off let's see where we spawn so on offense you're gonna spawn back here on defense defense on defense on search on offense you're gonna spawn back here so 
if you're going to be pinched back here, you know they're running. If you are like holding vines, you're holding back P1 or something, or back P3, and then you get first blooded, maybe you come back here, watch your mid L push, watch your fire. Again, great spot. Or an AR as well. So now, lanes here. I remember this is a good spot to hit jump shots. If you jump the first time and you get little mini jumps after that, it's even better. This immediate peak, like if they peak here, good spot to have. Going here, watching, things like that. Because they're not really going to push up to Godheady unless they have balls of steel to watch that. So that's a good spot to watch. And I would really recommend just going A side with the sniper. I would not really recommend going B because B is way too close quarters. Unless you're on defense, um, would be good. But again, this is kind of your spots you want to play here with a sniper. On s and I'm not going to show you respawn spots because why the fuck are you using a sniper in respawn? You're annoying. Um, you can you can snipe the B kind of like plat push. Again, you can go back tank, go back here. You can use that flower spot I just showed you. You can use here. And then same thing as the other side. You can go right here. Peek out. And then, I mean, yeah, you can go back tank. I probably... I mean, I wouldn't really like people to go here, but you can see plat, you can see green from all, from that's back here. I'm trying to, there's a spot. I don't think it's. I don't know where it is actually, but I thought there was a spot where you could watch plat from all the way back here, like the whole plat. But I guess not. But again, sniping right here would be a good one. Right here would really be a perfect one to be honest with you, because you can hold that, jump up, snipe that guy. But Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the Tuscan map breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more videos like this, I probably will just do every single map. Um, some maps would be trapped faster than others. Uh, this one will probably be one of the longer ones. Berlin, probably one of the longer ones. Bocage, probably one of the longer ones. And then, you know, maps like Desert Siege and Gal will kind of be more quick. But let's try and hit our, th our 360 armor and scope on the way out. Oh, off. Let's do it on the other side. But, yeah. If you guys want to see more videos like that, you let me know uh, in the comments and all that stuff. I really been wanting to get some comments lately. You guys, a lot of people watching the videos. I see that, which is awesome. But let me know what you guys think of the videos. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to post. Make sure you guys are commenting too. I would appreciate that. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know maybe if there's a spot I didn't go over, or you know maybe different kind of strategies that you have. over strategy at home. Because my uh, these eyes and my sickness is terrible. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Jaren. Subscribe to the channel.